when David Ben-Gurion, Israel's first prime minister, cast his gaze upon the Negev desert, he envisioned five million people living on its harsh soil. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, that when the Jewish people return to the land of Israel, that the desert will rejoice and flowers will bloom in the wilderness. Well, here I stand in the northwest corner of the Negev Desert, and all around me are flowers blooming here in the wilderness. One thing we're not lacking here in Israel is sunlight. However, we are lacking water. So how is it that 70% of Israel's agriculture is grown in its deserts? Well, through Israeli innovation, such as water reclamation, recycling wastewater, and desalinating the water from the Mediterranean Sea that could be used for drinking as well as irrigation, we've been able to make the desert bloom. Let's now meet Ori alone, a farmer in the desert who's using this Israeli agrotech that's been innovated here in Israel to help him make this biblical prophecy become a reality. Hey, Ori. Hey. How are you, David? I'm doing great, thank God. We're so excited to learn how you're using Israeli innovation in the field of agrotech to make the desert bloom. So I'm happy to take you to the greenhouse of the sherry tomato that developed in Israel. Let's go there, but on the way you should eat some chili. They look amazing. They are. Wow, these cherry tomato plants are incredible. They're so high. We grow them in a desert. That's what's unique. And through the irrigation system, we add the nutrient to the soil. And this irrigation system, I'm assuming it's the Israeli innovation of drip irrigation? Yes, it is. It's developed in Israel. Look here how it's working. You can see now that we open the water through the computer. And every 20 centimeter, we have one drop that gives the same amount of water to every plant. In this situation, even if we grow on a hill, the plant on the top and the down get the same amount of water. Wow, that's incredible. So inside the hose, you have some type of regulator. Yes, you can see it over here that it's not just a hole in a pipe. Inside it, you can see this filter that filtering the water and this would make it very unique even when the water is very dirty. So what you've been able to do here is literally grow whatever you want through drip irrigation. Yes, there, it's desert soil, no any nutrient inside this soil. So we need to, we have computer to check how many nutrients the plant need and through the irrigation system we add a chemical fertilizer that fit for grow tomato or other crops wow. we have here. That's amazing. Do you have any other types of innovation that you use here at the farm? Yes. In another place, we don't use soil at, at all. We grow up in the air. i show you it in the strawberry. Wow, these strawberries look absolutely amazing. Mmm. They taste incredible, and they're growing in the air and without soil. How is this all possible? We grow here in a special tube, and in this tube, we have coconut husk. This is coconut husk, not the part of the coconut. This one, the out part of uh -huh. the coconut. We take it in Sri Lanka, squeeze it, and put it in these bags, irrigate it with drip irrigation system, the rest of the water go inside this tunnel, and because we have angle over there, we can recycling the water. Not one drop is being wasted. Folks, when visiting Israel, you can't leave without coming here, where you get to pick and taste the produce and learn how we've been able to make the desert bloom.